things motivate billionaires like money. That's why they are billionaires, and that's tonight's On Point Memo. Here is CNN explaining a new venture by the world's richest men to get richer off of climate change. A band of billionaires from Jeff Bezos to Michael Bloomberg and Bill Gates is all betting that below the surface of the hills and valleys on Greenland's Disco Island and New Suez Peninsula, there's enough nickel, cobalt, and copper to power hundreds of millions of electric vehicles. As if the billionaires are doing this out of the goodness of their heart. Now that the ice melted in Greenland and the world's billionaires, well, they have now come to our rescue. They'll save us. Their company's partner, Blue Jay Mining, gave CNN exclusive access to the project. What the billionaires and Blue Jay got in return could be entered in an award show under the infomercial category. They're taking soil samples, flying helicopters with transmitters to measure the electromagnetic field of the subsurface and map the layers of rock below. Artificial intelligence is analyzing the data to pinpoint exactly where to drill next summer. You can hardly contain the excitement, the selflessness, the true desire to make humanity better. It is almost, just almost infectious. Until you realize the same billionaires who want us all to change our lives because of climate change also want to profit off of it. Humanity, we're big now. The Earth is small, it's fragile. In fact, one of the things you see from space so clearly is just how fragile this planet is. That's Jeff Bezos, one of the few billionaires investing in the new project. The same Jeff Bezos who owns space company Blue Origin. It sends tourists into suborbit for a couple of hundred thousand dollars. And it emits about as much pollution as a person does for the entire life of a person on Earth in just nine minutes. The same Jeff Bezos who flies around on his private jet to his yacht, his yacht that can't even get under that bridge you see right there because the bridge is so small and the yacht is so big. None of those activities, of course, make climate change any worse. You wouldn't know any of that from watching CNN. Not a thing about the billionaires financing this project, about their deal, their hypocrisy, or them trying to profit off the very problem they continue to create and claim to be so concerned about. No discussion of polar bears in Greenland who might be affected by the massive mining operation or sea lions, whales who maybe live there where you see water. No discussion of taking minerals that should belong to the native Greenlanders. Who's gonna stick up for the native tribes of Greenland? Certainly not CNN. And the climate and tax bill that the Senate just passed, if it becomes law, will accelerate the shift to clean energy. And Greenland's significant mineral deposits have the promise of meeting some of the world's growing demand for these materials. The excitement is certainly real. Just, just remember, drilling for coal in West Virginia and creating high-paying jobs in America, that's destroying the environment. The coal mines in West Virginia can't even cash in on the massive coal boom right now going on around the world. Drill for oil in northern Alaska, maybe make America energy independent, that's not allowed. It might upset the native tribes or the polar bears. Yes, CNN's covered that extensively. Tear up Greenland searching for minerals that may or may not exist. And according to CNN, you are climate change warriors and deserving of three minutes of journalism on TV and not a single line about all of the issues we have just talked about. We, of course, asked for an interview with the CEO of the new company. Evidently, he only talks to CNN. It's a shame, really, because there are some important questions here. As I said before, we don't do media commentary, but we do do journalism. As journalists, first rule, follow the money. So we have just one question. If the billionaires find gold or diamonds or, I don't know, just, just maybe in Greenland if they find oil, will they donate the proceeds to climate change? That's on point tonight. We want to know your thoughts. Find us at Leland Vitter on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Should the world's richest men be able to profit over solving the very problem they help create. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.